How exciting. I feel like I'm a stand-up comedian or something standing up for those people. Okay, I have to use both hands, so. <laughs> Hi. Ah, breathe. Okay. Okay, thank you. Gratitude is the key to manifesting. And if you are looking to create something or wanted to attract something into your life, Gratitude is an excellent tool to use. There are three steps to uh, manifesting through gratitude. The first one is to visualize with feeling. You want to feel what you want to attract into your life. And when you are feeling it, you are also visualizing it in your mind. So I call this feelize. <laughs> and so take for a moment to pick one of your favorite desserts. Imagine that in your head. Two scenarios, this scenario. We're gonna eat it two different ways. You have just been invited into a contest, food eating contest. They have piled up your dessert sitting in front of you. The first person who eats it uh, fastest gets $1,000. So you're just like <laughs> You finish. Second scenario. Your best friend calls you up and says, hey, I'm bringing over your favorite dessert tonight, 9 p.m. And you're like, oh my gosh, anticipation, excitement. I am so excited. She finally gets here. You're like, oh, it looks so delicious. It smells delicious, tastes delicious. You take a bite, you savor it. It's the perfect texture. It's the perfect temperature. You're like, oh, I'm in food heaven. Now, which one of these two are going to taste better? Most people would say this one. And it's the same thing with gratitude. You have two different ways with gratitude. There's saying, I'm grateful. Hey, I'm grateful I have excellent health. Or there's a feeling of gratitude. Have you ever had anybody where they've done a favor for you and it hits you and touches your heart so much it literally brings you to tears? That's the type of gratitude we're talking about. That's the type of gratitude that will open the doors for manifesting. And that's the one we're gonna be using tonight. Okay. So, first step is you wanna feel and visualize with all of your senses. I have a client who works closely with me and she called me up and she's like, Karen, I'm miserable. I'm living with my brother. I'm miserable. I want to move out. I can't find a place. I've been looking for four months in LA. And I said, what are you doing to manifest? She said, well, I'm doing positive affirmations. I said, well, positive affirmations, great. You know, I do them and uh, checklists and uh, vision boards, all wonderful, but they're missing one thing. What they're missing is the feeling behind the statement. That's what they're missing. So I gave her some exercises. I said, okay. For a week, why don't you do this? Think about, oh my gosh, get in the groove. What would it feel like if the landlord said, I have a place for you? What would it feel like? She'd be like, I would be excited. Okay, feel that. And uh, imagine signing the contract, shaking her hand, smiling. Imagine entertaining people in your new kitchen. One week to the day, she had keys in her hands to a new townhouse in LA and everything, every single one of the things that she wanted to manifest she got. Close to the ocean, close to her daughter, in a safe neighborhood, affordable. So this really works. Um, in other ways that it works, uh, I was invited to a wedding about three years ago and I wanted to go and I thought, all right, that means I gotta manifest a date. All right, here we go. <laughs> Pick up the pen and paper. <laughs> Here's my checklist, okay, he's gotta be nice, kind, you know, I want him to be able to dance, and he likes dancing. Okay, so all right, let's manifest this. I'm doing my visualizations, and all right, positive attitude, you know, attitude, all this, and boom, I manifested a date. So we go to the wedding, and we go to the reception, and I'm all excited because this guy likes to dance. We get out on the dance floor, and he goes like this. <laughs> and I'm going, oh my gosh, what did I do? That night I went home and I said, what did I do wrong? I thought it was manifesting. And the problem was I forgot step number two. Step number two is you want to have deep gratitude for the end result. I stopped halfway, I forgot the second step. I manifested a date. I forgot to manifest the feeling of what I wanted to feel at the end of the night. Connected, like I had a great time, uh, enjoyed dancing. 
So that's the second thing, the second step, which is feel deep gratitude for the end result that you want. And so it is with gratitude. Okay, I'm breathing. <laughs> step number three, you've got to enjoy it. The quickest way to manifest through gratitude is actually enjoying the process. You do it through joy. You know who can do this really well? Native American Indians. Have you ever heard of a rain dance? It's called a rain dance. It's not called a rain meeting. It's not called a, man, we have really bad drought. Let's talk about it. They have a rain dance. They danced, they sang, they celebrated rain before it came. And that's how you manifest. They knew how to do it. And that's what's so important is that you have to give gratitude, gratitude, deep gratitude before it arrives. That's, again, how you, you manifest. Now, a lot of people ask me, they're like, Karen, what's the big deal about manifest? Why can't I, you know, I just want to live my life. I don't need to do this. I'm like, sorry, you are manifesting 24-7, whether you realize it or not. Whatever feeling you are feeling, that is manifesting. Whatever feeling you are feeling in the moment, that is where your momentum is going. So if you are feeling great, you are creating a path for great things to come to you in life. If you are worrying about something, you are doing the exact opposite. We like to say you are praying for exactly what you don't want. So we've got to be cognizant of how we're feeling 24-7. And you want to keep that mood of gratitude. You've got to enjoy it and stay in the attitude of gratitude. It's really important, and you have a choice. You can either be neutral, which is, eh, that doesn't bother me, or positive. Those are your two best options, but you definitely want to maximize your positive feelings throughout the day. So we have some bonus e events for you tonight. We have three bonus tips. <laughs> your first bonus tip is, well, let's go, 24-7. You can actually gift your gratitude. Once you learn a skill, which everybody can do this, you can gift your gratitude. What that means is, is that... I moved to Sedona about six months ago to open a retreat center. And I moved at the very end of the year, December. So I woke up Christmas, and I literally have boxes everywhere from moving. My, and I'm like, the family's not here. Friends are gone, their family. I'm like, all right, if I don't watch it, I'm going to be going back to this, this worry, crummy stuff back here. i got to keep my attitude and gratitude. So I did what any one of you would have done. I went. I pulled out my Santa Claus costume. I grabbed about 10 Santa Claus hats. And I um, climbed to the most popular mountain in Sedona. And I asked who wanted a picture with Santa Claus on top of the mountain on Christmas. They loved it. I had a line of people. I was putting hats on dogs. They wanted me to put their hats on their babies. It was hilarious. I was up there for two hours. And I wasn't cold because I was packed with plastic bubble wrap to make me look fat. It was funny. But my point is, is that I knew it was a formula for what I call formula for depression but I didn't want to do that. So I thought, I'm, I'm not going there. So in many instances, you've got to create gratitude in somebody else. And guess what? It boomerangs back to you. Gratitude is contagious. It's like yawning. And when you give it to somebody else, it comes right back to you. It's a bonus. Another example, Valentine's Day, a bunch of us gals went out in Sedona to do karaoke and dance and all that, have fun. Well, of course, boom, every single time there was a slow song, we all sat down. And I thought, you know what, I really like this song. I don't really want to sit. So I grabbed my phone, and I gently went up to a couple, and I said, would you like a Valentine's Day picture? And they would snuggle in and say, yeah, and they'd kiss each other, and I'd take their picture. And then when the song was over, they'd come over to my table, ask for their phone number, and I'd give it to them. You know what I mean? I'd send them by email or text. Again, another way, if you're not feeling gratitude, you can create it. It can be creative. It's a very, very awesome thing to do for other people. Sometimes you have to, this is bonus tip number three, sometimes you have to reframe it. Um, I was watering my garden the other day, and there was a bee, and this bee was not happy that I was watering. He obviously wanted me to leave so he could, you know, gather the, the pollen, and I thought to myself, this is funny. If I do what you want and I leave, the flowers die, and there is no pollen for you to come and gather. So sometimes when we have a situation and we're irritated or annoyed at somebody, if you spin it or you reframe it, you realize you really should be grateful to that person for something. So that's one of my little tips. And again, you want to stay in the mood of gratitude as often as you can. It's really important because it's like a savings account. The more things that you have 
that you're grateful for, the more the universe gives more things to you. They're like, hey, there's somebody who has a attitude of gratitude. Let's give her more things to be grateful for. So that's how it works. And, okay, a sneak peek. Uh, I'm going to close with a story here. I was, um, actually, sorry, I have two stories. Um, hold on one second. Okay. Ah, thank you. Breathe. Um, one of the other things about uh, manifesting is that, um, again, you want to keep it positive and you want to visualize it and you can gift it to other people like we did with the dancing and all that or the um, Valentine's Day. And I'm in the holistic healing business and I had a client come to me and the mom and dad drive their son, drove their son to me because he was too sick to drive himself. And during the session, I thought to myself, what can I visualize for him? Well, obviously, you know, perfect health. And I thought, no, I'm not, I'm not going to stop it there. There's more to it. That's not the end result. So I thought, all right, if I was him and I didn't have good health, what, and I did have good health, what would I want? And I thought, he has a son. I'd be outside tossing a ball with my son. So I visualized this in my head with feeling, with great gratitude for him. And I didn't tell anybody about it. I just did it all in my head. And... They came back two days later, and they said, we have something to tell you. I said, what? And you have to remember, they did not tell me what was wrong with him. I had no idea, so I couldn't focus in on anything. I just had to do a general. And he said, Karen, he said, the stomach problems that I had for 35 years are gone. He said, I don't have to take the handful of pain pills that I had to take. They took out, he showed me the spot. He said, they took out my permanent IV. He said, but the best thing in the world was, for the first time, In his life, he played baseball with his son outside. And we all cried. The mom, me, and him all cried. Again, you can do this for other people. Everybody can create manifestations through gratitude. And the nice part about it is that with practice, you can create and get into that deep mode of gratitude quickly, and then you can manifest easier, quicker, and more consistently, and have a much more joyful life. So I encourage you to do that, because gratitude is the golden thread to manifesting. And in review, I just want to make sure you remember that if you want to create, manifest through gratitude, number one, you want to visualize with feeling and have deep gratitude for the end result, and you got to enjoy the process. So I'm ending with a story. Um, two. <laughs> um, another story was I was in a little pond, a uh, river with my two boys. They were young, and I was feeling very blessed that day. And I said, thank you, Mother Nature, for the sun and for me sharing time with my boys. This is beautiful. And I said, how about you just give us something cool you could share with us that we've never seen before, just for fun. You can ask Mother Nature for things like that. Five minutes later, my boys are squealing in delight, and I look over them like, Mom, look what we found. They had a clam the size of a football. So again, you can, you can push the gratitude to other people to get th good things to come to them too. It, it works. So my boys left for college, I'm in their room, and I'm, I'm cleaning it up, packing up the stuff, and I came across this little wooden uh, painted ladybug. It said love bug, and the wings opened and closed. I gave it to my boys on Valentine's Day. It said love bug, and it was so adorable. It had little painted hearts on the back of the wings. And I was just being grateful for the time that I got to spend with them and put it in the box. The next day I was working in the yard, and this is what I saw. This is a real live ladybug that has two hearts on the back, exactly like the wooden piece that I had given them. And um, I stood there. <laughs> I must have taken 150 pictures <laughs> because I was like, is this real? And I was like, is this real? Is it real? Because it, was, it just blew my mind. And so um, I just want to let you know the name, or my website is called themanifestexpress.co. And I wanted to thank you, and I wanted to say, make it a grateful day. Thank you. Yeah, Karen, nice. Thank you. Who wants to go to Sedona and get a picture taken with Santa Claus? Yeah, oh, there we go. <laughs>
thank you so much. Thank you so much.